Okay, hi. This is um, I saw this proof the other day, and um, it just really caught my eye because it's a type of proof that I've never seen before. Because you actually don't know which bit of the proof is the proof, if that makes sense. Well, no, that probably doesn't make any sense, but you'll see what I mean. So the question is this: Can an irrational number to the power of an irrational number be rational? <coughs> now we can uh, think about different ways of doing this. Um, and it becomes apparent quickly, if you think about it, that it would be very difficult to prove that it can't because you can't do it by counterexample. You, you know, you can't say, well, it works for this one, it works for this one, it works for this one, because you can't try all the irrational numbers. Any surd is an irrational number and you can't try all of those. And it's very hard to generalize about a surd. Um, <coughs> so, um, well, okay, I'll give the ending away. It turns out that it can be, but the proof is rather interesting. Um, we take um, a very common irrational number and um, we just play around with it. So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, let's take our good friend. Oh, no, that's not the pen. Let's try and get a pen going. And let's make sure it's a nice thin one. So, let's take our friend root 2. He's a very friendly, irrational number. We know he's irrational. <coughs> Pythagoras um, got rather het up about it a long time ago when his student disproved him. Pythagoras thought that all numbers were rational. You know, he had his flaws. Um, so, we could say, well, <coughs> what about if we did root 2 to the power root 2. Okay, now, we're, no, we're not going to work that out. That looks kind of messy. I don't really know how we would sort that out all that easily. But you just have to consider what it might be. Okay, it might be rational. Oh dear, let's not do the joined up writing. So it might be expressible in the form A over B. <coughs> or it might be Irrational. Hmm. So, if this were the case, then yay, we've proved it. Um, if this is the case, hmm, we've not proven anything because it's just shown that this one doesn't work, but another one does. But if root 2 to the power of root 2 is irrational, then we could say, well, instead, let's consider root 2 to the power root 2, so this number that we've just come up with and we're saying well it might be irrational, let's do that to the power root 2 because that is an irrational number to the power of an irrational number <coughs> and that we can we can sort out because when we've got a power and then the whole thing in brackets is raised to a new power we multiply the powers here Okay, so that's equal to root 2 to the power 2. Root 2 squared, which is 2. And that is definitely rational. So, we're faced with a choice here. Either um, this is my proof, okay, that root 2 to the power of root 2 is rational. So, that proves it. Does it? Well, no, maybe it doesn't. But if it doesn't, then we just do another power root 2, and that one is rational. So either oops, either this, let's try it again, either this, oh dear, this is going pear shaped, this rational number to the power of another rational num irrational number is rational, or this one is. Oh dear, that went downhill at the end. Okay, you've been watching a Lamo production by Mr. Camp. See ya.